Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today, let's talk the spoilery promo. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to keep this quick and to the point. Listen, if you have not seen the foreign promo that seems like it's a previously on, if you have not seen that, leave now because there are some spoilers. I've seen it, so we're going to talk about it. First off, there was two promos I saw. One was an official promo, and another one it appears, I got a glimpse at, it appears it might just be a mistake because it was deleted. The link that someone sent me was deleted. But I did watch it. I watched it not knowing the first time I seen this one. But there was two. There's one out there that is fine. It's okay. It's, you know, like uh, the one we got from AMC. But there's another one out there that has Carol writing a list and then it shows them sneaking in a bloody mouth savior on the ground, still alive, with Rick putting a gun over him, and then the girl on the radio saying, hey, we have Carol and Maggie. It also shows Carol and Maggie. Carol's kind of like yelling at Maggie at nighttime, like, you're supposed to be different. Uh, but let's back it up some, because I did see someone post on the internet that Carol was mapping out how many people they got to kill to get into the savior's factory. No, she was not. Uh, remember how I said there's going to be something coming? There has to be. The thing they're doing with Morgan and Carol, and Morgan getting through to Carol, planting that seed in her head. If you look at her list, man, she has what looks like an R. I need to see it in high def. But it's an R, possibly. Then it's a K and D together. Karen and David. Then she puts an L, Lizzie. Then she has Terminus Courtyard. Then Candle Woman, the woman she killed in the candle room, where she has like the number four by it, and that she only killed one person in the in the candle room, and the rest were I don't I don't know where those are, but basically she's writing the list of how many people she has killed because I think she writes 18 at the bottom. I counted seven ish or 17 ish, but anyway, that is what she wrote. I can't tell what that first letter is, but it's Karen, David, Lizzie, Terminus Courtyard. It's the candle room. Um, yeah, she, what Morgan has said has gotten through to her, you know what I mean? Now, we do know, again, because a lot of people are talking about how Carol and Maggie are taken. Now, this most likely means they're remixing Dwight's f next first appearance completely because if they have established that they took Carol and Maggie, and it is at nighttime, so this is over, like, overnight and into the day from the looks of it, if they're setting that up already, they can't do it again because they can't come and say uh, and shoot Abraham and take Eugene. See what I'm saying? Because then they would be, maybe they could, but it just seems weird. It's like, man, you know, everyone's just capturing people. <laughs> just kill them and get it over with. Uh, and we know Maggie is completely safe because they're already prepping her for the hilltop. And don't give me that, oh, maybe they're fooling us. No, they do not put that much story and build that character up that much for a certain role to just surprise you and kill her. Uh, you know? So, yeah. So, listen. I think uh, there is a chance this promo that we're talking about is a, a posted by accident and it's full spoilers. Um, I will know soon because I have a, a, a thing I'm doing. I'm asking somebody and finding out. So I will know, but if it's not um, and it's a regular promo, uh, then we should be good. But if you have not seen it, I already spoiled it for you here, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, give me your thoughts and opinions. I don't want to dive deep because if this is an accident, uh, we've already gotten too much. If we sit back and dwell on it, we could probably figure out a good chunk of story they're going to give us. Anyhow, give me your thoughts and opinions of what you thought about this promo. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think Carol's in danger? Because uh, Carol is not. Carol, um, I'm sorry, Maggie is not, absolutely. Uh, and with with what they're doing with Carol and a big change coming for her, I do not believe at all she's in danger because I think they got more story for Carol. So I do believe that they're going to get out of this one with both with both Maggie and Carol still alive. I think that uh, absolutely. And it's awesome seeing Father Gabriel there. <laughs> yeah, kick ass, dude. Kick ass. I love that actor. I mean, I, mean, uh, I love them in The Wire, and I'm so glad he's getting... Uh, more screen time on here and his character now is you know way way ahead of his character in the comic because he's just now stepping up <laughs> you know all right thoughts and opinions in that comment box i'm done talking it's your turn subscribe now <laughs>